Hi, this Hi, this is Kenny Chia speaking. I'm from the National United University Department of Energy Engineering. In this unit 07, we talk about rotating ring disc electron. In the previous, we talk about the uh, uh, potential control. And the electro potential control at the, for instance, a step potential control or the linear voltammetry, linear scan or cyclic voltammetry. All this uh, we control the electro potential and see the response of current. But in that kind of uh, uh, situation, the mass transfer rate in a way is not really under control because it uh, depends on solution how to agitate and they use a magnetic stir bar or something. It's not really reproducible, depends on the, uh, how to rotate and the speed and location. But with this rotating electro, electro itself will rotate, so we're able to control the mass transfer rate. The first we, we think on the type of rotating electro. There's a several type of rotating electro. The first is rotating disc electro, rotating ring disc electro, rotating cylinder electro, and the rotating hemisphere electro. The most common use is rotating disc electro. Itself, over here inside is a stainless steel shaft and the conduct the electric current from the, the electro itself and to the uh, however outside device. And the outside is a Teflon insulation. And then the disc electro. The disc electro have, depend, this custom made, can be depends on uh, platinum, gold, graphite, all kinds of things, uh, you name it. And um, how the rotating electro is made is uh, by uh, a hollow Teflon tube. And then when heated up, soak in the water somehow, and then the stainless steel was uh, hard pressed into the, the Teflon tube. So, and when you cool down the Teflon shrink and then make it uh, water tight. So this electro cannot be operated at uh, uh, elevated temperature because Teflon was soft and then the star leak. And the, the disc over here, um, actually because the electro rotate, so the the flow like a centrifugal pump, the flow will be from the y z direction and go to the x direction. So by control the rotating uh, speed, you will control the mass transfer rate. The second type is a rotating ring disc electro. The, in the middle, it's the same as the disc electro, but the, at the peripheral, there's a ring curve around here. Usually the ring is used to designate to detect the intermediate product or the byproduct. So from there, you can distinguish uh, ration mechanism, ration pass, or calculate the individual ration rate constant, and so on. It, uh, it's a great tool, but uh, need a lot of care about that. The third, the third one is rotating cylinder electron. In this electron, it's the aluminum foil or copper foil for your surround the electro. So when the rotates, the electro rotate uh, over here, the, they had a much greater uh, mass transfer rate for here. The, the, the purpose for develop this, uh, uh, this type of electro is uh, for the rotating wholesale, rotating wholesale electro. Later we're gonna mention about it. It's uh, for electro plating application because um, uh, for this type of electro, usually it's hard press inside here. So if you undo the electro plating or the corrosion experiment, the shape of the electro will be changed. Then each time you had to remake the electro, for instance, you had to polish the electro. It's a cumbersome. But uh, for the rotating cylinder electro, it's a uh, metal foil around this. So it can just take away and then replace new metal foil and then the experiment can run again. So this one designed for uh, electro plating process. And for rotating hemisphere electro, it's a, um, the original development, the idea is uh, the current distribution for the hemisphere electro is much uniform considered as a, compared as a disc electro or rotating cylinder electro. Because on the rotating disc electro or rotating ring disc electro, the higher current is on the edge and the middle is kind of a little bit less. So this one provides a relative uniform current distribution around the entire electro. But the problem is if you do the 
um, the electroplating or corrosion experiment, the shape of the electrode will be changed as the experiment going on. Then the, you have to remake the electrode. And that's why it's very difficult compared as the rotating disc or rotating ring disc. You just polish, use a, place the sandpaper or whatever uh, on a flat surface you can polish. But this is going to be very difficult to refurbish the electro surface. So in theory, people have some theory working on that, but it's not really uh, a wide applic uh, application because uh, hard to refurbish the electro surface remain at a perfect hemisphere. So, so the ring disc, uh, the, um, something like that. In a disc electro, there's a standard steel, and then the electro is con uh, conveyed through this one, and then going this one. So over here, there's a, a contact here, and then con contact the electric current or control voltage to the disc electro. And then on the ring, actually, there's the insulation. So the ring on the, on the, on the outskirt, and then con con conduct the current through here. So there's another second contact to control the ring uh, potential and then let the current flow through like this. This is a uh, typical uh, rotating apparatus. This is a uh, motor, electric motor, stepping motor, like this. This is a pine instrument. And this one also the electric motor. The advantage for this one is uh, the electro much smaller. You can put the beaker. It the much condensed. And the, for this one, the motor here, you need additional controller to control the motor's rotating speed. This is all in one. This is a tiny uh, motor, and then with the electrochemical cell inside, the reference and counter electro all inside here. Even you can purge or do all kind of experiment here. But this one is just use a conventional beaker. You can use it here, and uh, you can raise the platform. For instance, you fix this one. You can release the platform and then replace a new beaker or something. You can do it very quickly. And the contact over here, that's in the middle one. The contact to the uh, central uh, disc over here, and then the bottom one is connect to the ring electro. And the other one is uh, for rotating whole cell. The whole cell is quite uh, popular use for the electroplating process because in the electroplating process, you want to know the best condition or what kind of current density will be the best, give the best deposit. Usually, we can use a whole cell. The anode is here, and the castle is a uh, tetratropic uh, shape over here. So on, from the top, the anode is here and the castle is here. So this one is the distance very close. The castle uh, anode distance very close and then this is far away. So you end up with, with a very uh, uniform current distribution. Here is a high current density region. Here's a low current density region. So you run one experiment to do the electroplating. You can see the deposit at a different current density and then see the range which will give you the best deposit. But the problem for this one is a uh, mass transfer rate cannot be controlled. Usually, you will put a magnetic stir bar in the middle. But it depends on how big the stir bar and then the location and, and its rotating speed, the mass transfer rate always not equal. Even like in the, here, the deck corner always had a problem. So and so the experiment is quite reproducible. It cannot be reproduced because it depends on the people doing the experiment. So the rotating wholesale electro try to overcome this problem. The rotating shaft is over, uh, this rotating shaft, and then the copper foil is a wrap around on the on the surface, and then the clip, the the type of the, the snuggle uh, in the in the ring over here. So the copper foil foil can be tight fit over here, and then the ro uh, electro rotate and the motor drive the electro rotate. And the anode is on outside. There's one uh, setup. Is the anode is outside, and then there's an insulation box, like a plastic box. So the current and the current had to flow through this direction and then get into the electron. So you can, if you cut the cut view, you can see the current had to flow from here. For instance, on the top, flowing down. So it's from here 
going down here. So they quite a non-uniform current distribution over here. That's what served the purpose because from this one you can see and the different current depart current density how the deposit will be looks like. You can just one experiment you can see uh, over a wide range of current density. But this one usually you need the additional uh, uh, plating cell to go with the rotating cylinder. This is another configuration is a counter electro is right with the rotating electro right here. Uh, the counter electro in the middle and the, the rotating cylinder electro the electro is on the side view. So in this case, actually similar behavior. The current will be very high around here and very low over here. So you can the entire electro just soak into the beaker. Then you got the, the test result.